Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. This is basically my first product review video. Now let me first start out by saying that I've been doing woodworking as a hobbyist for about 15 years. But the majority of that has all been with power tools. I have very little experience with hand tools, especially planes and chisels. But it's never too late to learn, and that's what I'm doing. One of the things I really want to learn how to do is to make dovetail joints. And in my research in dovetails, one of the first things that I find out is that you really need some sharp chisels to really produce some good dovetail joints. So I did purchase some pretty decent chisels, but you need to keep them sharp. And with my limited experience with chisels, I don't know how well I can keep that edge on sharpening it by hand. In doing my research, I found a tool that could fit my bill and others in keeping chisels really nice and sharp. And the tool I'm talking about is the Work Sharp. To be honest, I was a bit hesitant to order this tool. But when I saw a video with George Van Driska of the Woodworking Guilds of America endorsing this product, I was like, let me give it a try. And so far, I am extremely happy that I did make the purchase. As I said, for a novice like me, when it comes to chisels and hand planes to keep them nice and sharp, it's nice to have a tool that helps you do it. If you would, give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now, let's see how you keep a nice sharp edge on a chisel with the work sharp. Well, the work sharp comes with two glass discs and four different grits of sandpaper to put on them. The grits of the sandpaper are 120, 400, 1000, and 3000. Just place the glass disc on top of the unit and then secure it with a threaded knob. And then it has an adjustable ramp guide that so it can accommodate many different sizes of chisels. And the ramp can easily be adjusted to four different angles. And the preset angles are 35 degrees, 30 degrees, 25, and 20 degrees. Now here's a relatively inexpensive chisel that I've had for many years and it's never been sharpened and it has been abused a bit. So let's see how well the work sharp does in sharpening this chisel. First we start by flattening the back. Now with these glass discs you have one grit of sandpaper on one side and a different grit on the other side. So we're starting this with the 120 grit. I forgot to mention about the disc that has slits in it. That's so you can see what you're doing. Now this also comes with many different grits of sandpaper. Since this chisel had been abused, I'm using the 80 grit sandpaper to get it down to where I need it to be. And the 80 grit sandpaper does a quick job at it. Then it's back to the glass discs and I'm putting the 120 grit paper on the bottom as so I'll be able to sharpen the beveled edge of the chisel. Now once I'm done with the 120 grit on the beveled edge, and now the 400 grit is on top, and I can flatten the back using that 400 grit. And I also clean the sandpaper after each use. Now we need to turn the glass plate over so we can use the 400 grit to sharpen the beveled edge. And then once that's done, then it's time to change out the glass disc. And we'll put the new glass disc in with a 1000 grit on the top to be able to flatten the back.
And then once that's complete, then we have to turn the disc over again that's so the 1000 grit will be on the bottom to sharpen the beveled edge. And now with the 3000 grit on top, we can flatten the back with that. And then once that's done, then we have to flip the disc over again that's so the 3000 grit is on the bottom that's so we can sharpen the beveled edge with that. And now this old dull chisel is nice and sharp, and it's sharp enough to shave the hairs off my arm. Overall, I am totally pleased with the work sharp. The only big downfall that I have with it is that you have to constantly be turning over the discs and replacing the disc with different grits of sandpaper. Are there better ways to sharpen chisels out there? There probably are. But for someone like me that's a novice, that's never sharpened a chisel before in his life, this is a fantastic piece of equipment. And it's almost foolproof. You really can't go wrong with it. I can't tell you if this tool would be perfect for you, but for me, it definitely fills my bill of what I wanted it to do. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video, and please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.